Hi everybody, it's Michelle and today I'm going to show you how I am setting up my week in my OneNote planner. Now I'm demonstrating specifically on my iPad. The app that is on for the iPad for the iOS has a few more features than what you may find in the Android version. So this is what I prefer to use. I do also have it on my Samsung tablet, but you can see the features are just a little bit different, more similar to what you would find just on the phone for Android, but it is still very usable for what you may need for your planner. So I use the iPad because I really like using my Apple Pencil. It makes it so easy to write and um, I like to write mostly in my planner. I do do some text and some images and that type of thing, but it's mostly writing. My planner is here and this is the week that I'm going to be kind of setting up and laying out, kind of do some time blocking for the week. Let me show you what last week looked like. This is week 21. This was last week. Kind of bare. I didn't do a lot there, but let's look at the week before a little bit more. And it just depends on how busy I am and how much I actually get put in here. But I do like to have a schedule of my week. And the great thing about this is I can time block out my week. And then I can just erase when things don't happen the way that they were supposed to. Let's go back to this week, which is week 21. And my calendar, let's look at the May calendar actually see what we have going on I have to add a couple of things make sure up here you just go to draw when you're using your pencil and I'm gonna choose the color that I want and I have to add in another field trip it is crazy at the end of the year right now we have that and I think that's the only other thing that I'm adding in I am no, I'm going to wait. I have an appointment in June that I need to add in, but I'm going to be switching to my new planner, so I'm going to hold off on that. I did write that in. That's today. No more appointments for the month so far. So we have two field trips this week that I think I'm going to be going to with him. So I'm going to write that in here. The kids who get all of their points for the reading, advanced reading program, get to go get pizza on that day. And he's going to do that. Plus, he got the super advance, which he next week he gets to go to the bookstore, which is pretty cool. And then Wednesday is bowling. And I have no clue why they're going bowling. I think that's for the robotics club. There's just too much going on. Okay, so... Those are my outside activities. So this day, I am going to want to also go shopping while I'm out. So just writing in, this is my, um, the current planner, the 2019 planner is like this, and the new 2019-2020 academic year planner also has this spread right here that I like to use. I just put in the major things for the day up there that I need to get done or my top three and some notes down here. So I'm going to jot in what I'm planning for dinner on these days. This is for me. Not necessarily for the rest of the family. I was hoping to fast for those two days. This day, even though he's going for pizza, I'm going to order pizza. I'm not sure about that day, and I'm being super messy. This day, I know we're going to go to Grandma's. This day... I'm not crazy. That does say cat meat. That's what my granddaughter calls 
calls it is just ground beef and gravies and you just pour it over mashed potatoes not the healthiest lots of carbs but i love it so that is what we're having there and i am not sure about this today right here probably take out so those are my meals then i'm just going to switch colors up here you can save extra pen colors by hitting this plus sign right here and you can do the color and the line width right here and then just add them in here so i have some pen colors that i use all the time plus some highlighters right here and then here's your eraser right there when you need to erase if you need to select something you hit the lasso and you can just select and then move things around or you can move over to text mode and then you can type in text you can also do that if you're on the home if you just tap the screen it brings up the text box for you so back to drawing so I'm switching to red because that is my outside the house color and I need to know I know I'm going to the school these times all week we have robotics oh let me write that in I forgot till 5 30 through Thursday and the, I wish they had a straight line tool I think that they may I just don't know where to find it that is something I missed from good notes all the way through there is robotics so I just do this throughout I can't believe school is almost out only two and a half weeks of school left and I'm not going to go in and highlight these I usually highlight in yellow when I've been out of the house I'll do that when I finish it off the day off So I'm going to the field trip here. Messy, messy, and I don't care. That's till 2 o'clock. Bowling, I'm not sure what time bowling is, but let me write it in. Usually in the morning. Probably till there. And then I will go shopping after that. Okay. One other thing I know is that I'm going to be watching The Bachelorette. I will be taking the night off. And playing my game while I am watching TV on my night off right now I am doing some filming and I need to edit I'm also going to be doing another video that is a demo for how to copy over the planner whenever I have to share it for those folks who aren't able to install it on their iPad or on their computer because sometimes the Mac computers don't like to play nice and or different models of computers software it it's never you know a given so there is a way that I get around that by sharing it and I want to do a quick little demo and showing people what they need to do whenever I do share it with them so I'm going to be working on that today getting those videos done and I think I'm going to have to I'm going to write this in black, repack my husband's bag. For if he has to leave town, because I don't think he left town today, so it'll probably be tomorrow. I just need to make sure everything is still in his bag and he's ready to go. So that is today. Now, I know on Sunday I will be going out to grandma's and Saturday I'm thinking I want to go to the movies
take the kids to see the new Secret Life of Pets 2 movie that's coming out that day. Friday, I am not sure. Oh, let me write in my school times. It's going to be a long weekend, so that's going to be nice. No robotics that day. Okay, one more thing that I know I need to focus on this week is working on my kitchen. I don't need that. So I'm going to do that here in the evening after everything's winding down and they're going to bed. And then maybe finish that off on Thursday morning. We'll do that. We'll work on that during the day. So let me write it in here. And I think that's as much as I'm going to do right now as far as trying to schedule my week out. Because I have no other appointments. And I mainly want to focus on those field trips, getting that done, the filming today, and getting my kitchen finished this week. So I'm going to show you how I add in some text. And we're going to do that here. You just hit the text mode, or you can go to home and then kind of tap the screen and then just start typing. Now, I'm going to, if you're on the home screen, you can choose your font. So let's choose something different. Right there. And I'm going to put in my focus. Let's select that. Make it bigger. I could have done that to begin with, but I didn't. Oh, a little too big. There we go. So now I'm going to select that box and kind of move it around to where I want. Up there. I'm going to put in a separate box because I want a smaller font. The kitchen. You know what? We're going to do this as a task. Where is it? There we go. Task right there. Task box. Um, kitchen. Field trips. One note. Demo. One note. Tutorial. Okay, let's move this up around. If you hit those three little dots, it's hard to see, and you can just kind of move it around. Let's scoot it over a little more. Right there. So that is how you add text in. Now, if you want to add a little bit of decoration, let's go to our sticker book. Round one. Here we go. Let's see seasons. Here is spring. Let's add in some flowers. We're going to select that one right there. Just long press it. And I'm going to copy. Go back to my planner. And then we're going to long press, and it brings up this paste right there, and then there we go. If I want to make it bigger, I just drag it to resize, and just move it around using this right here, this little circle in the middle, to kind of move it around. And that is how we add in images and add stickers to the planner. So that's my week. I updated my week, and I also... I've dated my calendar with what I know is going on. Oh, one more thing. Let 
on Sunday. Now I'm going to show you how I add in an extra page too when I want daily pages. I go to my overview and I look at my bonus pages and this page right here, this daily page, I want to add for today because maybe I have lots of notes I want to keep today in a different schedule. So we are on the daily page and what you do is long press and then right here is this little button. You can either move it or copy it. So I choose copy. It brings this up and I'm going to select May and it copies that page over into my May section. So now it's down here at the bottom. I am going to redate it. Make sure we're on home. We could go up here and I mean rename it, not redate it. So we have 5 2019 and now it is there. So I want to move it up for this week. So I long pressed it and we just use this little hamburger bar here to kind of move it around. So it's right there. Oops, I need to put it under week 21. It's still selected so you're going to hit done and then there you go. So now I have my daily page for today that has been added into my whole May section. And you can do that for any of these pages that are here. Any of these bonus pages if you need to add in. Like one of these for taking notes. One of these for kind of jotting your week out in the three different areas. Or any of the blank papers here. There you go. It's pretty simple to do in OneNote. Of course, OneNote doesn't have as many features as like GoodNotes or Zoom Notes or one of the other apps that you can take notes in, but it does everything that I needed to do, plus some things that the other ones can't do. And OneNote is on every single device that I own, and that is the best thing about it. I can use it from my phone. I can use it on my laptop. I can use it on my iPad. I can use it on this tablet anything that I have and I can access it. Now on my tablet, um, I just have a stylus that I use for this, of course, because it doesn't come with anything special, but there are Samsung tablets that do come with a stylus that work fantastic, just like you would have an Apple Pencil. And then my phone is the Note 9, which comes with the S Pen and that works great for the phone. So I prefer writing things out, but many people, if you text, if you use a lot of text, it It'll work great in on any of these, no matter what stylus you have. So let's go back to the week. There's my week plotted out. Oops, I keep forgetting it's week 21. I keep wanting to go back in time. So this is the way that it is. And by the end of today, this probably will not look like this because I will update it as I go and make sure that it accurately reflects what happened during the day. There we go. If you have questions, just put them below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Y'all have a great day and I will see you next time.